What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another Lords mobile video. And today, guys, wow, yes, the War of Wonders. It's just begun. You can see I'm soloing in to knock the guy out of Frozen Fort as we're going up against CNN. That's right, guys, TWK versus CNN in Kingdom 654. Now, we picked this kingdom because, to be fair, it was fairly chill. Only a couple of guilds there. We just wanted to have a, you know, a chill wow, get some practice in and just do some rebuilding that kind of thing and have a have a nice break you know basically <laughs> we picked cnn because they were fairly on par with twk to a degree um their main rally lead which is this guy coming up on the screen now cnn chen he's actually got some champion accessories on that account as well 160 stars i felt like i could give this guy a good go at wow and was looking forward to fighting him however that is not how this wow went down because about an hour before the wow began cnn started bringing in renter leads yes it's that trick again never a fair wow right look at this we're going up against qq amu full max tempered champ with 96 blessed holy crap we're going up against yo-yo 1988 with a ton of tempered champ and really high artifacts 11ks too a two-piece emperor count gw feng oh my god what and another two-piece emp max tempered oh my good god i'm the only rally lead online right now who's got their leader that can do wonders now i'm gonna need some backup so i called some in now some say his skin has the texture of a dolphin's and that wherever you are in the world if you turn your radio to 88.4 you can actually hear his thoughts we all know him as al jaid so al jaid pulled it into the kingdom to give me some backup because there was no way this was going to go down on my own against all these emperor counts and stuff that ain't i mean let's face it i'm not a rally lead, apparently but check it out we got yo-yo going into the uh, wonder and i'm scouting in to check now one thing that did help me out a lot here and guys you know i've got a few, couple of different sets of champ gear i can i, I can turn my card to whatever kind of comp i really want to send they decided to go ahead and fill the, the forts up for the most part with variants of 424 um which is great because if you're putting that in the base then generally speaking a 055 is gonna knock it out so here comes the <laughs> here comes the first one against yo-yo 1988 uh, we give him a good smack and take him out of frozen fall and it's a good win now i mean not by a huge amount don't forget this guy's thick um but i mean still pretty good he did have a fair amount of range in there i mean well over 1.1 1 .1 and a half million uh, range and he countered me with the range foul and i'd still managed to knock him out which is actually pretty cool uh, moving on to the next rally here we've got a rally up on tempest fall and this time i'm going up against qq amu he's also got the uh, cavalry um emperor title there as well let's see how he does against the 055 and he has also been knocked out of the fall. This is not a bad start. <laughs> I was expecting this to go a lot worse than what it is going right now. So this is great. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've been looking forward to a decent while where I could really put my account for its paces and get some practice for quite some time. I've got to tell you guys, I was in my element this afternoon. I was loving every minute of this fight with these guys, even though they brought in all these max leads. I mean, this is still insane. Just missed a hit there. Al Jai just took a hit on Bright Fort. We've got CNN Chen. This is the actual lead I came to fight. Uh, going in on Al Jai and getting absolutely smacked. Two million. Oof. Um, so that was a big ouchie for him. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the lead I wanted to fight. Like, <laughs> why can't I fight this guy? Anyway, moving on. We've got another one going now. So Bright Fort, we've got. And Chen uh, just lost. So now they're bringing over the two-piece Emp. Here he comes, Fen GGG going in on Bright Fort. And it's a fantastic hold from the mighty Al Jaid against the two piece Emp account. Ooh, absolutely awesome stuff. Let's take a look at the battle report 1.98 to 1.79. It's a convincing victory against a very strong account indeed. And here we can see the internal report of the troop comps. Tier 5 counts, good on both sides, to be fair. Both nice high tier 5 counts. Um, now, Bright Fault, we're just going to stay with Bright Fault for a second. I haven't done this for every fault, but I do like to watch the shield go up and the little troopies come walking out the fault. 
It's pretty cool, right? But wait, there's no time to waste. We need to speed my troops back as soon as possible because something's going down over on Frozen Fort. That's right, guys. Frozen Fort's at 5 minutes 26 and they've got a rally on it. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to relieve the person who's in there. Here we go. Let's go in. Let's march my march in and they're going to pull out and speed the troops in and boom. I now need to get some reinforcements. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to reinforce 055. Why not? I mean, I've got my jewels all set. I'm all ready to go for it. And these guys have been sending 424 variants since the beginning of WoW. So maybe this SEXF guy, with me not being in there at all, just set his normal rally. I'm kind of banking on that. Let's see how this goes. I don't know what this guy's gear is like, SEXF. Um, he's not one of the people that I showcased. I think this was one of the original people from CNN. Um... Well, we'll see how this one goes for him. He's speeding up his troops now. They're coming in. He hasn't got no anti-scout on. That's not good. Looks like he's going for a heavy infantry range march, though. That's also not good for me. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, let's just keep an eye on the situation and see how it unfolds. He goes ahead and scouts the fort. He's checking, seeing what I've got in there. Probably sees my 055 and thinks, well, I've got a bunch of range coming. You're in trouble, Bista. Let's have another scout. Let's check him out. And, uh, ooh, look at that range. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's like 13, 1.3 million range. Almost 1.4 million range incoming. And, uh, you know what, guys? At this point, I decided to say YOLO. Yes, I went with YOLO just to just basically see if I could hold it and put my 055 to the absolute test against this much range coming in. And here comes SEXF. And I hold it. Oh, my God. I hold it. It's an absolute banging defense. Let's take a look and see how that went down. So let's have a look at the report. And well, as you can see, he lost 3.4 million troops and I lost 832,000. It's absolute devastation coming in in the cavalry wedge for this guy. He's going to need a Panadol and a mid-strength beer after that hit for sure. <laughs> so yeah, really good one. Who sends that in cavalry wedge? Oh no. So we're going over to the base now because we realized only seven minutes left on the base. Yes, it kind of like we, we forgot about the base and uh, seven minutes left and the two-piece emp uh qqq duan zoo is in the base so al jayid has gone ahead and set the rally to see if we can knock out the two-piece emp now this is gonna be a task because with two people with these kind of, of these kind of accounts you kind of really want to back up rally to take the guy out so we might be in a pickle here, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Here comes Al Jayid. He's flying in. Is he going to take the base? And the answer is no. He's not going to take the base. <laughs> so we did lose the base. I know the big one, the big fault, the big tamale, tamale, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it would. To be fair, that's a pretty good like hit against a big two-piece Emperor count. We did black wing him as well, so there is that. But just unfortunate, looking at the comps, I think Al Jaid should have gone 0 5, 5 It seems to be the winner right now. It's a 4 2 4 variant. Uh, he should have gone 0 5, 5 I think he would have knocked him straight out of the base with 0 5, 5 But it is what it is. And we're moving on to the next one. Al Jaid now coming over to Tempest Fort, looking for some redemption. Absolutely. And he's going in on, I, I believe it's this guy again that I just nearly zeroed. Uh, this SEXF guy, I think. I'm not too sure. We're going to have to wait till the report comes up. But either way, here we go. The rally's about to walk and it's going in right now. A little few carpets and it's a winner. Another winner. Boom. As you can see, that, well, that was against XQQ Amu. Okay, QQ Amu, 1.36 to 1.46. Pretty close uh, attack. Um, good hit though. Good hit. Nice win. Really love it. And now we've got Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo's back and he's coming after... Looks like he's coming after Luna Fall. Uh-oh. 10 seconds to go. And I think I'm... Am I holding this? It is me holding this. I'm not full. I better hurry up and get full. This might be when I pulled. Did I pull here? I did pull. You see, sometimes it's not about taking the hits. I think the case with this one is the fact that the fault still had like 15, 14 minutes on it or something. So there was no real point in trying to defend against him because they would have set another rally anyway. He sent 055 at me. So I've probably done a... I'm probably done the right thing in pulling on that occasion. 
um they started sending it at us now <laughs> they're like oh you you're gonna send 055 and me i'm gonna send it at you so anyway <laughs> moving on to the next bit carp al jaid why were we what are we attacking let's have a look we're going after tempest fall okay here we go guys we're going after tempest fall and i believe it's the two-piece emp in there this time we're gonna find out in a moment got five seconds just making sure the troops are all in on time it's all looking good I think the two-piece emps in, or it might be this QQ Amu guy again. Let's have a look. Here we go. Al Jaid hitting, and bang. It's another good hit. And that's much more convincing. Again, another hit on QQ Amu. Beating him by a real significant amount there. 1.4 to 1.9. It's an absolute beauty. And Al Jaid's now sending the 055. Yeah, it's, you see, look, against the 424 variant, it does do wonders. I've even got Al Jaid doing it now. It's awesome. Okay, <laughs> uh, now what's going on here? We've got Comet Fall and Al Jai going in again on Comet Fall. This time it's against Feng GGG, the two piece Emp account. Can he knock him out? The answer is yes, he can. <laughs> awesome stuff. Look at that against two piece Emperor Feng GG. A really convincing win 1.3 to 1.7. You'll love to see it. And uh, I bet he's really, really happy with you know beating an account like this. At wow. I mean, that's actually... That is like, wow. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next thing. We've got Lunar Fort. So we're going over to Lunar Fort to try and uh, defend here. Now, guys, I want to show this in its entirety because TWK done a really good job here. Um, so basically, I've got an 857 in the fort, but I've got my heroes and my familiars in there that I would normally use for my 055. Um, so the other plan was for me to put my 857 in and then pull and switch to 055 so it's a complete it's a complete full changeover from 857 to 055 within the last one minute of the fort before they march i think that's pretty cool um i'd like to be think of it like a fire drill i'd like to be able to get my guild to do it faster than this i'd like to be able to do it in the last 30 seconds that would be even better um because then you really give the enemy hardly any chance to kind of react but this was we we haven't really done much, too much wow so we're out of practice so this was really nice practice for the guild to get back into the swing of doing this again so yeah like i say switching out the 857 that's in there going straight in for the 055 everyone's doing a really good job of getting them in there i notice there's a bit of extra infantry in there so i'm trying to find out who sent the infantry someone's done it let's have a look because that will throw my comp off completely code casting sent infantry so i'm sending her back as you can see from here he's getting ready to march in six seconds so Kassin needs to get those troops back in super quick. Go down to the bottom. I'm waiting for the troops to come in because I'm at 3.7. There they are. Quickly go ahead and speed this little march in. That's it. That's good. Put my 50% attack boost on and I'm ready to go. March is coming in. Take a look. And oh my god, there's an absolute buttload of range in there. An absolute ton. Like 1.5 million range. I've totally got it wrong. I'm never going to hold against Yo-Yo. Oh my goodness gracious. But we prevail yes we do baby let's go <laughs> we prevail the power of the 055 holding against that um when he sent like nearly 1.5 million range just let's take a proper look at this uh, report here look at that really close like really close because they had so much range coming in it was always going to be really close but i wasn't full either so but yeah no really good loving it and i didn't want to take a second hit because i had my 055 heroes and familiars in there so I asked LJ to come over and take the fort off me for the second hit from Yo-Yo because this potentially is going to close the Lunar Fort up. And I didn't want to risk it by, you know, trying to change the comp with the wrong heroes and familiars. That doesn't help us at all. Uh, so LJ come over and took it. Uh, Yo-Yo fired in another rally. And here he comes. And then boom, I was trying to speed some marches in because they weren't spending all the way. And uh, little rookie mistakes there. But we managed to hold nonetheless. So that's really good stuff. And that's Luna closed. 1.86 to 1.55. And we'll take a look at the comp on this one. To see if he went with the same comp. Like heavy range. And uh, he did. Yeah, like he's got like 1.55 million range in an hour. So he really upped the range. To try and stop himself getting hit by that 055. But that's Luna done. Fantastic stuff. Now after this. Al Jaid had to go. He had to migrate out to help another one of the Red Phoenix family uh, guilds at WoW, which was SW8. They also closed up on their base today in their kingdom. So congratulations to SW8. Um, so I was left here with just a couple of forts still 
like open with all these massive like rally leads and i've still got two forts to deal with so the first thing i thought was okay let's go over to tempest and let's try and sort out tempest because this one's got the lowest timer six minutes 16 seconds left um i need to quickly get a scout in and just have a look and see what's in there scroll down 424 variant fantastic again 055 i mean i know it sounds like i'm doing the same thing but i mean if it works why change it if it's not broken why fix it i mean that's the counter he's got he's got 424 four, variant in there we set a 055 i mean he's a big account i mean look at it look 2.2 billion might 311k's archduke general with 165 stars max temper and a artifacts coming out of his ass well welcome to the worthy prince 055 club and bang there it is Ooh, <laughs> we take him out there it is put the anti scout back on and that's the hit let's go baby boom, 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 boom. <laughs> love it 1.5 to 1.9 and have the black wing on top just for extra measure that's 2 million reds for you my dude and a whole bunch of dead tier 5 you gotta love that right absolutely awesome stuff so now i've smacked him out of tempest i looked over at another one of the forts on the right hand side of the kingdom and i noticed it was getting quite low skyfall i thought i've got an opportunity here so i relieved the uh rally lead there co Cassin was holding it i speed my march in and i ask everyone to fill me up not seven nine four nani what is this 794 but a pat but hang on a minute i swear i heard the other day that i'm not a rally lead in fact i'm sure somebody turned around and said it doesn't matter how much money i put in the game igg's the winner and that i will never be able to play against the big boys because my account's just not good enough I i'm sure someone said that to me the other day so what am i doing i can only send 055 i can only send a cav blast what am I even thinking trying to do a mix rally against mix? Well, I, I I don't know. I just got this. Well, sorry. I just got a voice in my head. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure someone said something like that the other day. Well, anyway, let's just try and forget that for a moment and focus on the job at hand. We're going in with the nine, nine well, seven, four, seven, nine, four gear. It's heavy infantry range gear, of course. I've got the Valor Mythic the other day as well. So we're going to go ahead and capitalize and use my Mythic Valor. And uh, let's take a look. Here he comes with a really big march. Oh, and I hold what is this i actually held mm. okay that's really interesting look at that that guy's way more powerful than me but i managed to beat him and like i say guys it's not always about the size of your account that matters 96 blessed holy crap it's also how you use it that makes a big difference and check it out it's a convincing win 1.97 to 1.63 what a banging defense. My favorite defense of the WoW. Both of us had a lot of tier 5 in our rally. About equal, I would say. That was a real sweet defense, man. I loved it. Awesome stuff. And then to finish off, after locking that Skyfall. Yes, that was the final rally I needed. I locked Skyfall, not, uh, which is here. Here it is. We're actually, are we going to watch the bubble pop up? I did. I left the bubble in. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, guys, for the pink bubble of victory? It's it's coming any moment, guys. Ready? Let's get ready together. And in three, two. Oh, damn. I missed the countdown. <laughs> There's the bubble. It's a pretty good stuff. We locked down Skyfall. I defended against that maxed account. I mean, I am absolutely loving it right now. What a fan. I got negative titles. Like, what? Come on now. Sorry, I forgot. What am I talking about? I'm not a rally lead. What am I talking about? Okay, anyway, last of all, let's get over to Tempest 4. I put it over and I started on the enemy side and then thought to myself, hang on a minute, why aren't I over here with my friends? So I then put it over to the other side <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and set a rally. It's a five minutes 30. Oh my God, I've only got a few seconds to make a decision. I have a quick look and he looks like he's got a similar comp to what I just defended against. Um... I decide to not go with the 055 and stick with the 794 um, that I just defended with. However, of course, I am going up against a much, much stronger account than what I just uh, won against. Because this account I'm fighting now is the two-piece emp account. And this is where you really do feel it when you go mix on mix with them because of all the debuffs and stuff that their gear comes with, right? Plus, if he's got two pieces of Emperor, no doubt he's got buttloads of Baron Jewels in there as well. So this is definitely going to be um, a test for me to try and do this. Uh, we're going to wait and see how this goes. 
Um, speed it up a little bit, and we've got 18 seconds. Okay. So the rally's full. Um, everything's good. Now, the other guild that was there, I think it was PXF. I've, sorry if I got that wrong. Yeah, they're there. They said they had a 055 up as well, and they were going to go ahead and launch him with me. So I said, fire him with me, then we'll go together and knock him out. But uh, they didn't. I was Frostwinged and bead, and I lost. And then it then it closed, and they didn't launch their rally, and that was it. Um, so yeah, I lost that last rally, unfortunately. We won 11 rallies, and we lost two. The base rally, and that rally right there. There's me getting hit with the familiars, the Frostwing and the B, and I lost by 500k. I mean, to be honest with you, it's not that terrible. What, 500k against that? Yeah, okay. I don't think that's that bad at all, to be honest. Looking at his comp, I wish I'd have gone 0 5, 5 on him, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it would have been much more better beneficial. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back at you really soon with some more content. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.